Hi, I'm Jamie. And I'm Meredith, and we're with Coastal Business Supplies, and we're going to show you our free geopaque heat transfer paper. Stay tuned. And we're back. So today in this video, we are going to be working with our 3G Jet Opaque by Nina Coldenhoe. We have our garment here. This is a 100% cotton. We did do a pre-press before we are going to press this. And we did print out of our Epson printer. Okay, so today we are working with our brother, Skin and Cut. This is a perfect machine um, that assists with heat transfer paper because you can just scan it in without the use of a computer. Um, so we didn't mirror our design today. We are going to place on our mat. Just make sure it's nice and straight. And we are going to use a scan feature to scan our item in. Okay, so now that we have our design, we're gonna move from our sheets, and move our cutter to the side, come here, weeds it. All right, now we're gonna weed away the background. All right, there we go after it's been weeded. And then we're going to remove this. And being that it is one big piece, we do not need to use masking. There we go. Okay. A shirt over there. So we are using our Hotronics Fusion today. I'm gonna place our garment on the bottom plaid. And then again, like I had said earlier, we already did pre-press this. And I usually pre-press for about 10 to 15 seconds to get any moisture out as well as any wrinkles that could be possibly in the shirt. And we're gonna pick up our design and then place it appropriately on the shirt. Use the other. Okay, so now once we've placed our design on our garment, we're gonna place a piece of silicone down on our image. And we're going to press today at 350 degrees for 30 seconds at heavy pressure. Okay. We're just gonna gently remove our silicone sheet. And there you go. You have one personalized shirt. Anything else you want to add in there, Meredith? Uh, yeah, and to increase the wearability of this shirt, make sure that you wash it cold inside out and also no um, harsh detergents or fabric softener. Uh, one other item to note is you can do this with a home iron. Just make sure that you're applying heavy, even pressure to um, every part of your design. There you go. And don't forget to check out product instructions online. In the package, you also receive a piece of silicone and instructions as well. So be sure to check those out too. Thank you for watching our video tutorial. We'll see you next time.